You don't think they deserve an explanation directly from you about what happened? You worked for 30 years, put money away for retirement, but then the people you trusted to protect that money failed to do their jobs. That's what thousands of police and firefighter families across our state are facing. And tonight, ABC 15 investigator Dave Biscoving is holding leaders accountable. He's exposing years of risky investments, billions of dollars in losses, and why you will be left to pick up the bill. Whenever there's trouble, 911, what's your emergency? They answer the call. <coughs> on the streets, police officers and firefighters put their lives on the line. But at the state capitol, it is the platinum plan. They've been called greedy and selfish by politicians arguing over dwindling public pension funds. We wanted to know our first responders to blame for draining the system. They've all been blaming it on the employees, not on the investment decision makers. The ABC 15 investigators spent months digging into Arizona's public safety pension plan, the money that should protect those who protect us when they retire. We uncovered years of high-risk investments. The bubble burst. A lack of oversight. Why wasn't someone somewhere raising the question? And one man whose decision set the fund back for decades. Decisions that will cost you the taxpayer not millions, but billions of dollars. We get a couple minutes of your time? No. Tom Jansen is enjoying free time with his wife, Christy. He just retired from the Phoenix Police Department. A little over 35 years. After serving for more than three decades and nearly giving his life. I think I had stopped somebody one night and uh, you know, eventually they you know, shot me in the head. Luckily I stayed alive. Shot me, shot me in the head up here. It took years for Tom to fully recover. But with the support of his wife, he made it through and returned to work. That's my number. It's your badge number, huh? Tom paid into the pension fund his entire career. But now he and every officer and firefighter who paid in will have their future benefits cut. It shouldn't be that way. It's seen a very volatile history. Yes, it has. Jim Hacking was brought in to fix the troubled public safety plan called PSPRS. The system sustained major losses. PSPRS is only 65% of what it needs to pay out pensions. The rest of the money will come out of your pocket. But it wasn't always this way. In the 1990s, the fund was one of the healthiest in the nation. It had more than $1 billion in reserves. That changed dramatically more than a decade ago. In 2000, the fund had billions invested in high-risk tech companies. Then, disaster struck. When the bubble burst, it burst rather quickly, and the losses ensued very quickly. $1.6 billion, a third of the fund's value, gone. How did it lose so much money so fast? We reviewed the portfolio and annual reports, and we found the entire $6 billion fund was invested in just four areas, 70% in stocks. And of those stocks, hundreds of millions of dollars were invested in some of the biggest losers in Wall Street history, including Enron and WorldCom. There's, there's your night and day. Our investigation found, despite standard practice, the fund was poorly diversified, had no outside advisors, and no outside annual audits. And all the investment decisions came down to one man, Jack Cross. All those in favor say aye. Aye. He left the fund in 2004 as it was collapsing. We wanted you to hear from Cross, but he declined our interview requests. So we found him in Scottsdale, where he chairs that city's public safety retirement board. Mr. Cross, Dave Biscoving, ABC 15. We'd still like to ask you a couple questions about what happened with the pension fund. We get a couple minutes of your time? No. No comment. Thank you anyway. Come on, let's just take a few minutes and talk about this. Let's not walk from this. Let's just take a few minutes. This affects every taxpayer, every firefighter, every police officer. You don't think they deserve an, an explanation directly from you about what happened? Mr. Cross, let's just take a few minutes. Cross made the decisions, but others should have been watching. Where were the legislators? Where was the Auditor General? Where were those safeguards in government? Brian Livingston represents rank and file police officers. Why now? You've had 10 years to look at this. I want the truth. The truth is, a seven member board was trusted to oversee the fund. And even though the legislature received reports from Cross and that board every year, only now are lawmakers starting to ask questions about decisions made years ago. Senator Kirsten Sinema says she was left in the dark. Never once did anyone mention the fact that we lost this kind of money. A member of the state senate at that time came to me and, um, and told me 
he had been misled. Busy a hat badge. The truth is exposed now, but it's coming too late for thousands of public servants like Tom Jansen. So when you started out in the department and as a police officer, it wasn't for the, the thrill of big money. No, it wasn't, no. You'll take a financial hit, and you'll be paying too. Arizona taxpayers will have to make up what's already been lost. It's millions, hundreds of millions. Each year? Yes. $288 million of your money last year alone. Mr. Cross, just a few minutes of your time. What's it going to take to get you to sit down and talk about this? A review is underway by the State Auditor General, and we'll let you know what they find. But tomorrow night at 10, we're breaking another angle of this investigation. We'll show you how the former fund manager increased his own pension to get millions for his own retirement. I'm investigator Dave Biscoving, ABC 15 News.